So if you guys have seen my most recent video, you know that I recently purchased not one, but two life-size Ghostbusters terror dogs from Spirit Halloween. These were first released, I believe, in 2019, and they just brought them back out for 2024. In 2019, I believe they were $500. Now for 2024, for the re-release, they are $600. $599.99 to be exact. Now that does seem like quite a price tag for this prop, and I have had a ton of comments on that video related to the price. And I'll admit, when I first saw that it was available and it was $600, I thought I would never buy one of those things for $600, but I would buy two. <laughs> but all the comments on the video about the price opens up a good discussion. So I thought we would look at a few websites here and try to see if we can find a few props. Foam and latex static props, not animatronics. The only thing this one does is that its eyes light up. There's no sounds, there's no animatronics. It just sits there and its eyes light up. Now it's pretty cool, it's pretty creepy, but is it worth a price tag of $600? So let's go ahead and pull up some of these websites. We'll see what we can find, do a little bit of comparing, and then you guys can leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about the price of this prop. Personally, at first glance, coming from Spirit Halloween for $600 for a prop, I think it's easy for us to say, man, that's a lot of money, because most things at Spirit Halloween do not cost $600. But if we're just looking at the prop itself for what it actually is, and especially after we do some of these comparisons, I think you might have a change of heart. Maybe not, but let's get into it. So the first website we're going to look at here is called Monsters in Motion. This is a pretty awesome website. I highly suggest you check it out. But if you look over on the left side, you can see there's a whole bunch of categories. We're going to go all the way down to life size and prop replicas. Now there is a subcategory that comes off of that. Item lists from every letter of the alphabet. So we could literally sit here and search through every prop beginning with every letter of the alphabet. But this does include things like masks and prop guns and things like that. So we're going to try to just kind of fly through these and try our best to find things that really do compare to the terror dogs. Now we also want to find things that are movie props. So right here, okay, alien life-size xenomorph egg prop replica with LED lights. So there you go. That is a perfect example. The only thing it does is sit there and lights up. There's no animatronics. There's no sounds. It's just a xenomorph egg replica. This thing is 36 inches tall, made of hand-painted foam, LED lights, batteries not included, batteries are included with the terror dogs, and this does include a foam face hugger. Now that is really cool. <laughs> the price tag on this is $699.99. So that right there is $700. The terror dog is $600. Alien is a classic movie, and this is definitely an awesome prop. But $700. If I were comparing this directly with the terror dogs, I'd say, give me a terror dog any day. Okay, let's keep on scrolling here a little bit, see what else we can find on this website. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't even know if you guys are going to know what this is. Buck Rogers, 25th century, tweaky robot, life-size prop replica. Now this one is hand cast urethane resin, numbered base plates, stainless steel trim pieces, so it's a little bit different. The terror dogs are foam. He stands 48 inches tall and weighs 45 pounds. The terror dogs weigh 50 pounds each. This guy right here, Tweaky, is $1,300, guys. <laughs> now, you gotta be from the 80s or be a major Buck Rogers fan to even know who Tweaky is. I think that's cool, but I would never spend $1,300 on it. All right, here we go. Here's another one. Child's Play 2. Good guys. Chucky life-size prop replica. Now, this is not the one that you can get at Spirit Halloween for 50 bucks. This one is $549.99. Officially licensed, made from actual screen-used molds, has a polyoxymethylene thermoplastic connector frame surrounded by a soft, flexible foam to allow you to pose your doll any way you'd like it. So he is poseable, he's made of foam, he doesn't talk, there's no animatronics, nothing lights up, and he is 550 bucks. Now granted, Chucky is the main character of the entire Child's Play franchise. The terror dogs are 
main characters, but they're more like supporting characters. Nonetheless, they're awesome. But 550 bucks for that one there. Let's look at one more on this website here. Okay, here we go. The Bride of Chucky, Tiffany. Life-size prop replica. She is $499.99. Posable life-size replica. Stands 30 inches tall. Doesn't say what she's made of, but probably about the same thing that Chucky is. $500 for her. And once again, she doesn't talk. There's no animatronics. Her eyes don't light up. She's just a prop. All right, so we're starting to get a couple of comparisons here. Let's move on to the next one. And the next website we're going to look at, guys, is Distortions. Now, Distortions doesn't have a whole lot of movie stuff on here. Some of the classic stuff, here's a life-size werewolf legend. I guess you could say that's a movie monster. He's $594, stands six feet tall, latex and foam with armature and metal base. So again, he's an awesome prop, but he doesn't do anything, doesn't make any sounds, nothing lights up, doesn't move. Six hundred dollars and here's one that is totally awesome guys invasion of the saucer men display look at this guy he is so cool <laughs> this is a character from a 1957 movie guys you can get him in green you can get him in orange he stands four and a half feet tall foam filled with latex skin and guys this one is fifteen hundred dollars invasion of the saucer men terror dog. <laughs> and I'm not at all making fun of distortions, guys. I love distortions props. I know I don't talk about them much, but this channel's mainly about Spirit Halloween. But this one I thought was kind of funny here. We've got a raptor display. Full body velociraptor dinosaur static display prop made of latex skin, foam filled with a metal armature inside. Nine feet long, two feet wide, five feet tall. He's 2250 bucks. Now you can get an animatronic dinosaur from Distortions, but this one, I believe, is just a foam prop. Now, that's not the funny part. The funny part is, if you want a rock for your raptor to stand on, a latex and foam rock, $490. <laughs> but I will say, if I ever bought a raptor from Distortions, I would buy a rock to put him on. All right, let's move on to the next one, guys. And this is HalloweenCostumes.com. And they've got a good handful of things on here. Um, just because it pops up right off the bat, here is a Ghostbusters Terror Dog inflatable decoration. $169. It is an inflatable terror dog. Now, I'm not saying it looks bad, but for $170, bucks, I might spring another $400 and buy the one that looks better. So let's roll down here a little bit. I know they have um, life-size Ghostbusters Slimer prop, $499. Now Slimer is totally awesome. <laughs> look at that thing, guys. And they've got a few pictures here you can look at, but no, in case you're wondering, I can't tell if this Slimer has a butt. He is pretty awesome looking, but yeah, he's $500. Soft foam rubber. You can bend the arms. You can take them off. He measures 30 inches tall. Doesn't say anything. Doesn't do anything. Nothing lights up. $500. And let's look at one more that they have right here. And this is a Gremlins puppet. Gremlins puppet? $299. He's 28 inches tall. It doesn't say what he's made of, though, but he is just a static prop. Well, okay, he's a puppet. Apparently, you do put your hand up in him and make him move around and stuff, but the point is he's $299 for a gremlin. All right, let's move on to the last one here, guys. Entertainment Earth. And this website also has a lot of awesome things in it. A lot of lists here and categories you can look through. I chose the life-size category. Again, I see they have the alien light up egg with the face hugger and that's $700. Life-size Tiffany, $469. Life-size Chucky, $469. Life-size Batman, $1499. That would be cool. Okay, here we go. Here's one I know you guys will like. Five Nights at Freddy's, Freddy Fazbear, 48 inch foam replica. Made of foam, rubber, and latex. No lights, no animatronics, no sounds. $375. Now I know there's about a billion of you in the comments right now going, I would definitely buy the Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> yeah, he is pretty cool. 48 inches though, that's only four feet. In the movie, he's like seven feet. And here's another one that I would absolutely love to buy. 
Um, I think this is a good comparison, pretty good comparison. E.T. the extraterrestrial stunt puppet prop replica. Measures nearly three feet tall, foam rubber and latex. Yeah, what a bummer. Once it's sold out, it will not be coming back and it is sold out or else I'd buy that thing right now. $479.99. Now, even though they're calling it a stunt puppet, it's not a puppet. It's just a static prop. I'm gonna have to see if I can find one of those on eBay. <laughs> And once again, granted, E.T. is the main character in the movie E.T. But it's just another prop to compare. He is foam and latex, almost 500 bucks. There are a lot more we could look at, guys. And just for the fun of it, I highly recommend you go to these websites and check them out. There are tons and tons of awesome props on there. But after looking at these and doing a little comparing with the prices and what's available out there, not including resale on eBay or anything, just things that are really available right now. You guys let me know in the comments below. Do you think the terror dogs are too much at $600 a piece? Do you think it's too much just because it's a spirit prop? Or can you look past spirit and say, okay, I see where they compare to the price of other props that are comparable. So yeah, maybe it is worth it. In the end, I think they're totally awesome and I'm glad I bought two.